Well, I was a little bit worried that um, the white clouds wouldn't like to be just thrown into this tank. Um, but they've uh, really made themselves at home today. They all seem to be fine. Everybody's kind of accepted them. They are just learning. I think that my black widow here, this is his area. He doesn't like anybody in it. So um, he very rarely goes into the plants. He just circles around here and he likes it to be his. Well, he will chase people out, but um, I don't think he kind of picks on the fish if there's more than one of them. He kind of leaves them alone then. He was in a story state when I got him. This is the reason I have him. Um, all of that finnage was just ripped away. And um, I didn't think he would live. But he is a terrible fin nipper, so he can't really be in the um, bigger tank. Well, I have another, well, um, skirted tetra that's on his own now, but um, I just can't take the chance that he'll have a nip at Victor and start a fight in there. So everybody's getting along. There's quite a few fish in here now. It feels more like a tank. Um, before it wasn't a community tank. It was just a tank with fish in it. Now it seems to have more of a, a thing. Um, my little otto cats are finishing at the last of their wafer. And, uh, I love these snails, they're beautiful. They, they look like pieces of furniture. Got beautiful wood-like uh, shells. So all in all, um, I don't think I lost any fish. We were very, very careful um, going through, check you have all the babies out. And so I took all the plants out and everything. I just really scooped them up in one net and put them in a container. He's grown quite a lot since I got him. So my only problem now is hoping that my big tank don't get white spot or anything from my quarries. So I'm keeping an eye on that and I might medicate it. I have my UV light on so I'll just see what happens. <laughs> 